it is finally time once again to head out and try to find ourselves trophies for the new Leighton Trophy Cabin. In the last video, we got ourselves a piebald European bison and a diamond European rabbit. So this time, we're headed out on Leighton Lakes. We've got the albino cow moose, the diamond moose up above the fireplace, a troll elk and an albino white tail buck, plus a diamond turkey up on the upper level. So plenty of species still to go after. And I think we might try to focus a little bit more on Blacktail today. So diving into multiplayer as per usual with this series, we've got a pretty fun loadout for Leighton Lakes. Got the 223, the 270 Stradivarius. I love this color on the barrel. It kind of fits the engraved thing we got going on. Wish we could do gold, but that's as close as we can get. The 50 cap lock muzzleloader for big game. And of course the 22. Now this particular server is kind of midway through moose drink time. It won't be too long until Blacktail starts to drink, so I think we can stay here. Maybe we can stumble into something else in the meantime. And I mean, there's always a chance to improve our moose that we have on the wall as well. But as we kind of get started here with an alarmed moose, which we should probably shoot sooner rather than later, I wanted to go kind of north. Did we hit the heart there? I didn't think we were going to. Anyway, I wanted to go north up through Chopeka because while there's some moose in High Lake and areas around there, that's also where I want to focus on hunting Blacktail, and if we spook the Blacktail not too long before their drink zones start, they'll still nervously try to rest. It's a little bit weird the way that works, but they won't go to their next zone until they calm back down, so I want to stay out of that area and just focus on other spots for now. And again, this is a perfectly good spot for Moose anyway, so might as well check and see what's here. As for this guy, we did heart and double lung. If the muzzleloader was repeating, that might be the best moose grind weapon, but as is, only being able to take one at a time, I don't think that's going to work, but a nice little gold to get us going. But already moving into Blacktail drink time, and it looks like we've got a number of bucks over here to choose from, but not really all that special. I think that's probably the best one. And either way, it does give us a chance to check out the 270 Stradivarius with, I think it's like the Sand Tan Metal. I can't remember the name of it, but... I really hope they add gold at some stage. I think that would be a really nice customization options for guns like this. But the thing that I think is going to be kind of fun with this is it's going to require a little bit more precision, especially on like longer shots. Things like the 308, the 30-06, if you hit them even halfway decent, they're not going far. The 270 is a little bit weaker and if we don't want to be tracking for forever, we'll have to pay a little more attention to where we're aiming. And actually in this case, no tracking was needed, we could spot him from across the river where he dropped at. And obviously, just a little silver 121 score, right long shot at 259 meters with the 270. And hopefully it's only up from here, because if we want one for the wall, it's going to have to be a little bit bigger than that. That's looking a little bit better, got a level 4 this time. So I think that should be a goal. Right around 200 meters away, we're actually going to go in the other direction, so we'll try to get that shot in there. I think that had to have hit the heart and I wanted to check around this side I was kind of surprised there weren't very many black tail drinking here at Belmont Lake but it actually seems like much like many other species they're getting into their zones late so up there in Calburn where we ran by we didn't see much maybe they were just late getting there it's hard to say but I don't want to go back through we'll keep on checking some other areas Chila's another really good one these three lakes here are all fantastic to look at but I did think I saw one more deer around here, so we'll see if we can find it. In fact, there are a couple of them, but I don't even know that we're going to shoot that just because we're on limited time. I think we're better off just getting over to the one that we shot and heading up to Chila. I'm surprised there's not more here, but again, stuff could just be late getting to their zones. It looks like that's happening. And that really may have worked out for the better. These ducks must have been over there, and maybe we would have just spooked them. But that is definitely... A pretty good sized piebald and this being multiplayer someone has joined and is headed to the Chila area so we're in less of a rush now we might as well try to get that it's almost 400 meters away so gotta figure that's gonna be like that I think that was so close I don't know if that was just a little bit too far left that got him and he slid into the water so I think we're stuck here we do have to go and claim this buck but it's only 40 meters away We'll pay attention and see. I should have marked that. Must have been right in there. It looks like he's floating this way. So we're going to be sitting here a while. I guess I'll glass through the ducks again, make sure we didn't miss anything. But for now, the black tail buck that we shot are level four. 
was indeed a heart shot, right through the top of the heart there at 198 meters, 145 scoring gold, and like I said, no big rush now, we'll let Chila there, uh, this area of Norden too, like these, not this lake as much anymore, but these four lakes are also quite good, so that's probably where we're headed next, but that might be a while till that duck gets here. It's literally gonna be dark by the time we're done checking those lakes up in Norden, but they do drink till 2000 hours. That was basically the lowest end of that score estimate. 18.2 is not a bad size pie bold. Long shot at 390 meters. We will take that any day with the duck and the 22, but I mean, we do need a duck on the wall. Pie bolts aren't that rare. I think we can get like a leucistic or a melanistic or something, but let's jump up there to Norden, try to get to as many lakes as we can, and then I'm kind of considering looking for bears. We'll see, but they do drink right after Blacktail. So we're officially using the night vision binos now, but got a pretty decent buck up there. Definitely not going to be a diamond. Very uneven, but kind of cool looking. So we might as well go for that shot. It's 200 meters away, so we'll see what we can do with the 270. Try to drop that in. Definitely did not get a hard shot, but lungs and it's not going to go too awfully far. And we've still got a little bit more to do here in Norden. And as for black bears, by the way, I've kind of got a curiosity as to whether or not we should consider Leighton Lakes as a future black bear grind at some stage. I'll probably keep it on Silver Ridge Peaks, but it'd be nice to know. I haven't looked at all at black bear drink zones since way before Great One Black Bears were a thing. For the moment, though, Another gold blacktail buck for sure. This guy's a 158. I mean, not bad. I haven't seen that particular combination very much. It kind of works like it's a very similar shape. Just this antler's kind of like a stunted growth. Not bad. Left lung at 190. A little bit too high, maybe a touch right. I will go ahead and head up to the last main spot I want to check in Norton. I'm going to say having spent a good chunk of time here on Leighton Lakes, it would be an okay bear grinding map, but... I don't know that it's any better than Silver Ridge Peaks than what we have already, so why don't we go ahead and try to get that guy with the muzzleloader. Hopefully he's not going to do the thing that I'm pretty sure is exactly what he did. Maybe we got a lung. I'm thinking it's going to be intestines. There's that thing they do where they'll kind of immediately stand on their hind legs. And I just think as powerful as this thing is, if that was a lung shot like it should have been, he would have gone down a little bit faster. But we're going to go ahead and rest back to morning. One thing I found was a max weight jackrabbit track. I want to go and at least see if we can find that. And it'll be elk drink time, so we still need a diamond elk. The only thing in our lodge is that troll, so a little bit of trying to kill two birds with one stone. But I do want to see what happened with our bear here. I never looked at the initial impact plus, so I don't know what we hit. Yeah, it was intestines. But it was just poor aim, I guess. Maybe trying to rush the shot so he didn't stand up. He was alerted. I mean, good to know it wasn't the gun's fault or anything, but a what would have been just silver level 5 anyway. And, of course, I mentioned resting back to morning. We do have hosts, so we're able to do that. We'll try like 5.36 a.m. and see what happens. Well, if we're looking for the opposite of a diamond blacktail, I think we found it. Got a level 1 here. I do think they get even smaller than that. But, I've been looking for that jackrabbit track, and I just can't find it. It was up in this area, I think like right in here, and of course I tried to track it at night, just couldn't get the next tracks. It's difficult enough in the daylight to track rabbits, and it was like the straight line tracks, so most likely it had warped to somewhere, and it's hard to know exactly where, so we'll make another pass through there at some stage, but for now, I do want to at least try to get to some of the lakes that I'll drink at before that drink time is over, and in the meantime, we're just shooting some potential Hall of Shame Blacktail. We must have some Blacktail in the Hall of Shame. I'm pretty sure we do, but we'll see what this guy scores. He is a 69 scoring bronze, so go figure. What was the minimum weight? Like 653? Somewhere in there? 57.12, by the way. Just want to point that out. I think we will tax him as a Hall of Shame animal. Not for the Leighton Trophy Cabin, but that's a pretty low weight. Well, I think we have his zone anyway. That's the track that we had. I want to see if we can get a disturbed edge, because he should have been gray or light gray or something like that. We also can't be that far behind him. This zone ended at 6 a.m., I think I said. It's a little after 9 now. Let's see if we can figure this out. It would be really cool if we could get it. That is interesting. We've got a warning call down there. Let's not blind ourselves. 
that looked like it. That is gonna be it. It's a level two, unfortunately, but at least we now know, because I'm not gonna lie, if we left this server and went to another one, we've been here for two and a half hours, so every now and then it's not a bad idea to just kind of change it up. It would have bothered me to not know what this was, and it's still possible it makes diamond, most likely not, but we'll take a look and see. So, moment of truth, he is a 5.65, so basically the very lowest end of that estimate, but just nice to know that we didn't leave a server with a level 3 rabbit. Back in the day, when rabbits drank, I think it was easier to get diamonds. At this stage, like I said, we, we want one of everything eventually. To potentially have one and then leave it because we can't find its tracks would have been kind of unfortunate. So now we know we'll spend a little more time here. It's whitetail drink time now. And then we may consider jumping to another server. And go figure. There was a level 3 whitetail waiting on this map. 239 to 280. So much time here. And we never saw a thing. Getting ready to leave, and we do have something actually we could take out with that 270 Stradivarius. So let's wait and see. He may come back to this zone. We'll try that first. If he comes back, we can do that. If we have to track him, we will. That could be interesting, though. We've got that albino on the wall. If he makes diamond, it definitely could make for a tough decision. Looks like we're going to be tracking him, though. I would imagine that he'd be back by now. There was that doe there too, so they usually get back even faster and she's not come back. And if one animal in the herd does, everything does. So my guess is he is off somewhere drinking nervous. Now, I believe with the New England update, they only actually will drink at water now. They don't just drink in the middle of the forest. I could be wrong about that, but from memory, that was the case. Now, I actually did spot the doe, which is looking like a terrible decision based on all the tracks that are here. We need a max weight whitetail track that went off somewhere in this direction fleeing. Surely we can figure that out. It could be him. Tough to tell. Either I'm incorrect and they've decided to just drink nervously there or we've just caught up to him, which I don't think would be the case yet, but they're going to be nervous no matter what. We can't just call him in. So we're going to have to sneak on up there, but... I'm pretty sure we're on the right track. It matched the age and everything. You know the other thing too? Sometimes, when you alert animals that are nervous, it'll actually change what they're doing. So they might be trying to come back now. I don't know if that's necessarily what's going on here, but suddenly these does are coming right back towards where, where we initially spotted that buck. There is a buck there, but certainly not the right one. And we do have the 85 to 100 tracks heading up that way. The only thing is, if they're gonna sneak that direction, that could mess with us. I think we're just gonna have to stand here and kind of watch. Try to make sure he doesn't get by us. Thank goodness that we're on the right track. This has been a absolute disaster. I'm not gonna lie, that might be as good a chance as we're gonna get. <laughs> and we just smoked that tree. I think the shot was lined up too. This has been such a spiderweb, just an absolute mess of trying to figure out where he went. It's just, it's good that we're tracking the right one. We'll be able to get him eventually. If we gotta get into that situation again where he runs by us and gives us a broadside trotting shot, we'll take it. I can't believe that. <laughs> we just lined that up. Felt like perfect. Smoke the tree. You know, I think this is his herd. I'm not sure, but that buck looked familiar. That's not gonna be him though. I thought there were only two bucks, so maybe, oh no, that is him right there. All right, he's in the open enough. Let's see if we can turn him around and get him with the 270, because this has been absolutely absurd. Get him to maybe stand broadside. That should be good enough. He's starting to go down. I think we got a vital. This was entering top two worst tracks ever. If you guys are familiar with the Warthog stream, as soon as I say it, you'll know what I'm talking about, but we spent an hour and a half on a live stream tracking a pretty small diamond Warthog. It was getting to be like that. I mean, just look at this absolute web of tracks that were up there. It was just really difficult to navigate. If we didn't spot him there and smoke that tree, I don't know that we could have found him because at some stage, I would have started to think we were on the wrong track, but I will say, taking that shot while he was trotting by, I feel like that was absolutely the right decision because it's been an hour 
like, we're at an hour and four minutes of time trailing this buck. And we don't even know if he's a diamond. I do think he's got a good shot at it. It looked like a wide set rack to me, but we're about to find out because we finally got him with the 270. And it was all because of spotting a different buck that had stopped there in the trees. Let's see what we have for this guy. He is a diamond barely at 257. Thank goodness. Right lung at 185 meters. Unfortunately, that's going to be our last kill. I had planned on, you know, going to another map and maybe trying to find more latent trophies here on another server, but boy, was that a struggle. 10.26 <laughs> kilometers. I've only ever tracked one animal over 10 kilometers, and it was, uh, I think this guy was a little bit bugged too, but it was a bugged black buck over on Parque Fernando, and it was actually a little bit of like, intentionally tracking it really far out of spite almost, just because back then you could get the exact weight on tracks, you were able to know like what was going to be a diamond, and I knew it was a very small diamond black buck in that case. This we didn't even know if it was a diamond. 10 kilometers of absolute mess. That's got to go in the lodge. I think I've got an idea of what we're going to do, but I I'm just glad that he A, made it, and B, finally gave us a shot. I'll add one additional thing with this guy as well. We were on the right track from the beginning, so when we had the warning call where we stopped and saw the does coming back and saw one or two smaller bucks, he was there. Like, his tracks went right through. The timing matched up. I just don't know why we couldn't see him, but... I do think, if we could get the full body platform to come up, the albino here makes a lot of sense. It's going to be a struggle to actually find him, because we shot him actually not that long ago. And maybe what we could do with this, because the fact that he's a gold albino, I think he was the first trophy in this lodge. He definitely should stay. But let's say the next time we go out on Leighton, we get another diamond whitetail or another rare or something. We could do a multi-mount here. And that also gives us the opportunity to hunt for more whitetail as we're hunting on Leighton. But... Kind of an interesting looking rack. I didn't notice it in the harvest screen. I was too busy staring at tracking distance and stuff like that. He's got some kind of interesting looking times there. But just... Thank goodness he made it. That was a long track. And I, I'm pretty confident there was some bug stuff going on. It seemed like he was warping all over the place, but we got him down. That makes the albino now the centerpiece of the trophy lodge. And we'll see what happens next, but I can promise it's going to be Hirschfeld, and we need a little bit of a break from Leighton after seeing a plenty of it on that track today. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.